If you're looking to make a, your own custom Unity window that lets you spawn prefabs on the click of a button, you should definitely watch this tutorial. Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a simple editor button in Unity, so let's get right into it. So, in our assets folder, we're going to right click, go to create, and go to script. And we're going to call the script Prefab Spawner Editor. Once you've made the script, open it up in Visual Studio. There are two things you need to do as soon as you open up the script. You need to do using Unity Editor at the top of your code, and then you need to make sure the Prefab Spawner Editor class that we just made inherits from the Editor window instead of Mono Behavior. We want access to all of the stuff an Editor window has, so we're going to inherit from it by doing colon Editor window instead of colon Mono Behavior. You can delete the start and update code and do this code instead. So we're going to do game object prefab to spawn and we'll do float spawn point x and spawn position y. So this will be storing the game object that we want to create an instance of and these are going to be where we're going to place it because it's going to be in a 2D space. And this code here is interesting. So menu item maxo diddly slash prefab spawner is an attribute that creates a menu item in the Unity editor and what's going to happen is, at the very top of Unity, you're going to see some text saying Maxo Diddly. Then you can click on that and like a little drop down menu will occur. And in that drop down menu, we'll have an option called Prefab Spawner. And if we click that, we can then show our Prefab Spawner window. Then we can do Public Static Void Show Window and we can do Get Window Prefab Spawner Editor. What you put here needs to be the, this class up here. And we're going to call it Prefab Spawner. So here we are just creating and showing a window and the title of the window is going to be Prefab Spawner. Now let's go into defining this window and what it has. So firstly we do void on GUI and this method is called to render and handle the GUI interface events of our editor window. It's where we define what the window will look like and how it behaves. So let's go and put some stuff in it. So firstly, we're going to do GUI layout.label, spawn prefab settings, editor styles.bold label. So this is just going to display a text label. You can make this say whatever you want. So we'll do 69420 at the end to be funny. And we want the text to be bold. It doesn't have to be, but I'm going to make it that. And then we're going to do prefab to spawn, which is referencing our game object variable up here, equals editor GUI layout.object field prefab comma, prefab to spawn, comma, type of game object, false as game object. So this is going to be creating a field where we can drag and drop a game object prefab that we want to spawn. Then we're going to do spawn position x equals editor GUI layout dot float field x position spawn position x and we're going to do the exact same but for our y position and use our y position variable. Here we're going to be creating input fields so we can type in floating point numbers for the x and y coordinates that we want to spawn our game object at. And obviously whatever we type in here gets assigned to the variables up here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do if GUI layout.button spawn prefab, we're going to do spawn prefab. Here we're going to be creating a button and that button will have text on it called spawn prefab. And when we click it, we want to spawn a prefab. So we're going to put spawn prefab in the if statement and we're going to make that function in a second. But basically, this on GUI is now set up and we can now do things with our editor window. But let's put in the logic for spawning the prefab. So you can do void spawn prefab. If prefab to spawn double equals null, we can do editor utility dot display dialog error and then please assign a prefab to spawn and then okay. So this is basically checking, do we have a prefab to spawn? If we don't, we're going to show an error dialog that's going to stop the method. And I'll show you what it looks like when we try it out. And then we can do game object spawned prefab equals prefab utility dot instantiate prefab to spawn as game object. We can do spawned prefab dot transform dot position equals new vector two spawn position x spawn position y. And then we can do undo dot register created object undo spawn prefab and spawn prefab. Let's break this down. So here we're going to be creating an instance of the prefab pretty simple and here we're going to be setting the position. But what's this undo stuff? 
Well, basically, it allows this action to be done in the Unity editor, and it's a way to integrate this custom tool more seamlessly within the Unity environment. So let's say we spawn a prefab using this button, but we want to undo it. Well, we can hit Control Z on the keyboard to undo it. So basically, we're going to be registering what we just did with the undo function. And that's it for the code. So we're going to save our work and go back to Unity. Once Unity is finished re importing the script, you'll notice, hey look, we got a little max so diddly button up here. And if we click on it, we get the prefab spawner. And then the prefab spawner window pops up and we can close it. We can go back and open it. And we can even drag and drop it into the editor somewhere for it to go. So as you can see, it says spawn prefab settings 69420. Let's see what happens if we click the spawn prefab with no object. Well, it gives the error message. As you can see, we got the error box here, the message, and then what we want the OK button to have. If we go back into our code, as you can see, we got the error for the like the title of the box, what we want the OK button to have, and the text we want in the message. So we can click OK. Now let's drag and drop our Pikachu prefab into it and hit spawn prefab. As you can see, it spawns. Now let's do an X position of one, a Y position of one. It spawns. Let's do minus one and minus one. As you can see, we can spawn Pikachu prefabs with the click of a button. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more editor tutorials. Editor scripts are really powerful in Unity and I'll be covering a lot of things you can do with it because this is something I use in my day job. Really powerful. You can do so much when you know what you're doing. Thanks for watching.